my day off. What do I feel like doing today? Walk with me. Cracking with a family, it's your boy Ann Diesel. What's happening with you? It's my day off, and I want to talk about these ETS mags. Now, I know what you're saying, Diesel. Why do you got an extendo and you sold your Glock? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, stop playing with me. So, yes, it is clear visually inspect all that good shit talking about this today though in my past i've bought two ets magazines for my ruger ar556 to be specific the issues that i had with that is every couple of rounds i'd get a stove pipe out of both magazines without question as if i was a plumbing and heating guy i'm shooting I'm not heating anyone's house. Stove pipes like crazy. So today I'm going to go to the range with this. I've had this for maybe about four or five months now. Forgot I even had it in my drawer. And today's going to be the first day I go to the range with it and check on the reliability. Now I'm not going to be showing any kind of shooting at a target because we're not going out for target practice. We're going out for a reliability test. This is an ETS magazine. See that right there? The color, the, the finish, I love it. Seems like really hard ass plastic. I don't know how they make it. Don't ask me for specs or none of that. We're gonna test its reliability today because if it is another Kardashian mag, which looks good but no other talent this is going to just go in the bottom of my drawer and not do anything would i use this as something to have around me or on me as i'm going to the store no i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be printing like a month with this here so that wouldn't happen this is going to be for range fun possibly for home defense dependent upon its reliability if I go to the range and I get stove pipes out of this here, then I'm never looking at another ETS magazine again. This is a 30 round ETS magazine specifically for the HK VP9. And as you guys know, not only do I have the VP9, I have the HK VP9 SK. It'll fit both of them. I'm excited to see about its reliability. Hopefully it's not another Kardashian magazine. Hopefully it's actually about something. Hopefully it feeds reliably. And if it does, I'm gonna have to go to the store and get another one just for range fun or potential home protection. 30 rounds for 20 clowns. That means somebody getting hit twice. Let's go ahead and hit the range ASAP. So we at the range now. Load it up, 30 rounds, 20 clowns, ETS magazine, test of reliability. That wasn't a gang sign, I was throwing up 30. Right now I'm showing you the reliability test of the regular magazine to show you that it is a fully functional firearm, a flawlessly functional firearm, just as a comparison to the ETS magazine. Your boy got a little trigger happy right there, but don't hate. Empty, flawless victory, 15 rounds gone without hiccup. Now I'm putting the magazine in gently here because I've heard stories about people actually cracking the feed lips on magazines by putting too much pressure on them with their load. Pause, that shit sounded crazy.
Noticing a little bit of magazine wobble. Nice feed. Okay, flawless victory so far. Empty. No issues. Yeah, notice the little smile on my face. I'm, I'm digging it. Now right here, I tap my magazines every time I load them just to make sure everything's seated properly and is pushed back to the resting position. Now that is my HK VP9 magazine with the finger extension. I ain't letting go of them hollows because hollows is becoming harder and harder to come across lately with this COVID-19 thing. That was on my hip and yes, I carry with one in the chamber. Okay, now I'm excited because that is the second set of 30 rounds through the magazine with no stove pipes, no jams, no issues of any kind. I'm loving it. Now it's time to get back to the crib and give my overall thoughts. So we back at the crib now. And I am, yeah, I am pleased with this magazine at this point. I spent $21 on it at this new gun shop that just opened up not too long ago here. Their guns are way overpriced, but their accessories and ammo are reasonably priced. So needless to say, I haven't bought any guns from them yet. Probably gonna go in there and try to do the whole silver tongue haggle thing. Cause I got a couple that I'm looking at, but I'm definitely gonna stop back in there and get another HK 30 rounder just to have. Free country, right? Here in Alaska, we ain't gotta have 10 rounds, nine rounds or seven, eight rounds. No, we get as many rounds as we want. I wish the entire United States was free, but that's what we fight for. I was always told if it's not worth fighting for, it's probably not important. So yes, flawless victory, ran 60 rounds through it. I know 60 rounds isn't the torture test, but I'm a self-funded channel. I don't have money growing from trees. I have no sponsors. I don't want any of that. I want to go out and have fun because I don't want this YouTube channel, which is my hobby, keeps me out of trouble. I don't want this to become a job because when you have a job, then you start to dislike things and then I will stop wanting to do this. So you're going to go get me a second one of these for $21 and i'm gonna have fun with this i really appreciate y'all watching salute the fam 
Salute the new subs, the day ones, everybody in between. Hit me with one of these. Don't study my moves, just check my footwork. Salute.